Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. I just have a quick haul I wanted to share with you. Um, my mom and I ran a bunch of errands today. Yesterday and today, we've just been running around like headless chickens, but um, we went to, other than going out to eat lunch, we went to, well, I went first by myself while mom was still getting ready to Flying Tiger. And then mom and I went to Target and the Dollar Tree. And I think that's it. Yeah, I guess we... I don't know. It's the only places I bought things. Oh, no, we went to the grocery store. We went, we did a few different things, but there were only a few places I actually bought stuff. And I want to show you guys my haul really quick. Um, I will start with um, the Dollar Tree because that was the quickest part of the haul. I, well, not really the quickest part, but um, anyway, got myself some Mike and Ikes. I've been trying to cut back on how much candy I eat, but my husband and I are actually going to um, Monster Mania on Friday. Today is Monday. Um, I'm super, super stoked. Um, if you guys haven't been watching me that long or you haven't seen my previous videos, Monster Mania is a super, super fun horror convention that's held um, twice a year in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and then once a year in Hunt Valley, Maryland. And my husband and I have been going to the Cherry Hill um, cons for, this will be our seventh. We started in March of 2014, so we went in March and August of 2014. Same for 2015 and 2016. So this will be number seven, and I'm super stoked. And anyway, um, there are movies screenings that get done. Um, so I thought I would bring these along so I'd have a little nibble while I'm watching movies at the con. Then I got the very last four wacky packages that they had in this particular Dollar Tree. I haven't seen these in any other Dollar Trees in a long, long time. Um, I love collecting these. These just remind me of my childhood. And this particular one is Series 7. You get eight stickers in the pack, which is super, super cool because these are from 2010, I think. Um, yes, 2010. Um, I've gotten some of the later editions longer ago, which is weird. So I guess they just unearthed these in a factory somewhere and said, oh crap, let's, you know, send them to the Dollar Tree and get rid of them for cheap. Because I've bought other Wacky Packages series that have only come with four stickers in them. So the fact that these come with eight is super, super cool. And I'm not missing a tremendous amount from my collection. I'm sure most of these will probably be duplicates, but I love them just to stick on things too. If you're not familiar, if you're not a child of the 70s and 80s like I am, um, Wacky Packages are really funny parodies of existing products. As you can see on the front here, we've got Mountain Dude instead of Mountain Dew, Ditz Crackers instead of Ritz Crackers, and Baby Battle Pop instead of Baby Bottle Pop Candy. And they're really funny, and I just love them. So I got the last four packs of those. And that was it for the Dollar Tree. We also went to, um, to Target, and I found this which I'm actually a little concerned because I, oh, okay. I saw like weird funk inside this package, but it's just like packaging. But um, usually their three packs of Tsum Tsums are $4.99, but this was the one and only ColourPop Series 4 pack that I saw. And as you can see here, hopefully it was reduced to $2.48, which was super, super cool. Um, I'm currently seeking the ColourPops. They sell them in individual packs where you just get one large uh, color pop in a blind bag at, um, at Walmart. I don't know what they cost. I've yet to find them at any of the Walmarts near me, but I've gotten some, uh, from some generous, amazing friends. My friend Carrie sent me two as part of a huge friend mail package, and my amazing friend Kim sent me five as a friend mail the other day. So, um, when I saw this, I was super stoked, because for two forty eight you get three of them. So you get the large thumper, the medium Perry the Platypus, and the small mini. And like I said, these are color pops, and they are part, they are, um, part of a limited edition series. So the fact that they were on clearance made me super, super, super happy. Because I typically buy my three packs only at Walmart because they run usually $2.88 there, I think. And like I said, at Target, they're $4.99, so why pay more? And sometimes um, Toys R Us has different um different series on sale too i think i've gotten a pack there once for like three dollars or something but anyway um and then the one other thing i got at walmart excuse me at target was this i saw these by the register like there's one aisle that has like a bunch of trading cards and um some blind bags some blind boxes a lot of like little necklace fashion tags and i had never seen these before the num noms fashion tags 
I told my mom, I was like, she was online, I was running to grab this, I had to like pass it over the register to her because it was super crazy busy, and I said, if this comes up $2 or less, please pick this up for me, and it actually was $2.99, but she was sweet and she treated me to it anyway. So what you get is one fashion tag and one scented sticker. So this is my very first, they could be from series one or two, and I am really excited to have this. So I'm going to open this right now with you guys. You can also get special edition foil tags. I'm assuming there's probably not going to be a checklist in here, although I'm hoping that there is. But um, I just think this is just going to be fun just to have. So let's see who is inside. All right. Okay, let's just check the sticker first. Oh, there is a checklist. Fabulous. That's really cool. Oh, I got a banana scented sticker and you actually get the um the num and a couple bananas and then a smaller sticker with a couple bananas and let's see if they really and they are there are six this is sticker six of eight so eight different ones oh my god it smells so good you guys oh i wish you could smell it it smells fabulous i love i hate bananas love banana flavored and scented things like i love banana runts they're my very favorites i love banana bread it's the texture of actual bananas that i can't stand i'm a weirdo i know but anyway these are the different stickers that you can get so it looks like there's banana watermelon what is that cherry grape um waffle oh that's neat like i guess maple waffle and i don't know i'm assuming one of these is probably cotton candy but they're super super cute and then here is the checklist of the tags there are 24 available and then there are 18 of those are considered regulars and then there are six special editions so here are the regular 18 i hope you can get a decent shot of those and you can pause obviously to get a better look and there's the six special edition foil tags so I'm just going to read you the names very quickly. There is Connie Confetti, Candy Puffs, Pinky Puffs, Betty B Day, Confetti Jelly, Creamy Pop, Raspberry Cream, Strawberry Froyo, Choco Berry, Cindy Cinnamon, Berry Cakes, Neo Trio. Oh, that's cute because it's Neapolitan ice cream. Raspberry Jelly, Van Minty, Nana Berry, Melly Pop. Papa Corn and Cassie Cola. Those are the regular 18. And then the special editions are Berry Waffles, Margarita, which is the Margarita Pizza. So cute. I actually have that one in a num. Uh, Mallow Jelly, Mama Corn. Oh, that's cute. So there's a Papa Corn and a Mama Corn. Uh, Suki Saki. Oh, it's a little sushi one. And Nana Puffs. So let's see who I got. I'm so excited. Oh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty chain, first of all. It's like a pinkyish reddish kind of goldish color it's not really rose gold i don't know maybe it's kind of rose gold i don't own any so i'm not really sure but it is a heart shaped one and it is van minty 14 of 18 it's really cute so it's like a mint ice cream and it's got like little waffle ears and some chocolate fudge on it and it's super, super cute. And I'm going to put it on right now so it'll be on for the rest of the video. It is adorbs. I really like it. I love the sticker, too. The sticker is freaking awesome. And it's a good size sticker. And I love that it's scented. I just could smell it all day. It's weird. It almost smells a little bit like popcorn, too, though. So I'm wondering if, like, popcorn and banana assembly lines, when they had them, like, being printed in the plant, were close to each other. Because almost has like a little bit of popcorn mixed in with the banana bits. Yeah, super cute. So I'm excited to have that. For $3, I don't think I'll be collecting them on the regular. But I'm glad to have just this one because it's super adorable. Okay, in the last place, actually the first place I went because I went by myself while mom was still getting ready. But um, it was Flying Tiger. And if you're not familiar, I've mentioned it before. Um, Flying Tiger, it's also called Tiger for short is a super super neat store that has like rotating stock all the time it's like all kind of fun cute collectible tchotchkes that you don't really need but you decide you want when you see them and um i got i got four things there what am i missing hold on oh i know what i'm missing okay i have a bag of stuff from my previous video which was my kawaii box opening okay i got four things the first thing i picked out was actually this how stinking adorable is this it is actually a screen cleaning mitten and it's a kitten mitten 
Can you see the little pink ears on top? This is only a dollar. I thought this was so precious to keep in my purse when I want to clean off my screen or clean like my um my iPad screen or whatever. I just thought this was so sweet. And blue is my favorite color. They had them in yellow, blue, and red. And actually, I didn't see blue, but I knew there was blue on the package. So I asked, and sure enough, they had it in another location in the store. Just one blue. So it was meant to be. So I thought that was super cute. That was a dollar. And this was all purchased with a gift card my mom gave me for Christmas. I think I still have like six bucks left on it. These beads, I thought, were so pretty. They looked like vintage to me. I mean, obviously, they're not. But they looked like vintage roses. I just thought they were really, really beautiful in this mint green. They also had crazy cream, um, lavender, I think hot pink, and then there was a bag that had like them all multicolored. But I really, really was just feeling the green. I wanted to make a solid bracelet, and I didn't think there'd be enough of any one color in the other pack to do that, so I went for the mint green. But these were $2, and I love them. I think they're so pretty. The third thing I picked out were these hair ties, and they're so fun. They remind me of when I was little in like the 80s, when they used to have ones that looked like telephone cords. They were like little bracelets and that's exactly pretty much exactly what these are but they're so cute and stretchy and you can actually wear them as a bracelet too if you want to but you get eight of them in these fun colors and that was only a dollar and i couldn't help myself i have more hair ties than anyone could ever use in a lifetime but with this mop they come in handy so <laughs> i was stoked about these and these were only a dollar as well i think i said that already and then i paid for these and then i was like oh crap okay i have to do one more separate purchase how cute is this freaking lollipop is this not the most adorable thing you've ever seen with this cute little blue bow oh and p.s it's a freaking pen I mean, come on, seriously, how cute is this pen? I'm not even going to ever take it out of the plastic or take the bow off. I'm so glad that that's not the cover and that the cover is at this end. I have like weird hair on me um, so that I can keep it in the package. Obviously, I'll take all this nonsense off, but how adorable is this pen for only a dollar? And it's ballpoint and writes in black. I tested it in the store and it snaps on really great the lid because I'm famous for losing lids of pens. Anyone who's taken writing workshop with me, Jackie, Jen, yeah, you guys know, I am always forever having pen lids pop off my pen and like I'm traumatized for the rest of class until I find the cover for it. So I'm glad that this one snaps on nice and tight. So I love this pen for a dollar and they had other um, colors and I may go back and get more. But that is it for this little haul, you guys. I hope you had fun. I know I had fun buying these things and I'm so excited excited to um, go upstairs and open my wacky packages and see if I got any new ones to put in my binder because I would love to get the whole set. I've never been able to complete a set of any type of cards I don't think in my whole entire life so it would be super super awesome if I could. Probably won't happen but you never know. But anyway thank you so much for watching guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye guys!